What is the heaviest fast food burger? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Is it just me or are fast food burgers getting bigger and bigger? I mean, is it that my mouth is getting smaller and smaller? As a man with a famously small mouth, what is your take on burgers getting mega, mega, mega? Well, first of all, I was gonna say yes, I think your mouth is getting a little smaller as you get older. <laughs> I didn't wanna say it, but you brought it up. <laughs> uh, and secondly, I, I see this as just an opportunity for more bites, so a small mouth man doesn't, ma doesn't mind. <laughs> yeah, big burgers are good. Yeah, and the burgers are getting bigger. And when it comes to big burgers, people care a lot about calories, they care a lot about fat content, they care about if they have tomatoes, but do you wanna know the funnest thing to care about? how heavy a burger yeah, is, yeah, right. and it doesn't get any funnier than what's about to happen, because we're gonna determine the heaviest. It's time for Bring Out the Scales and Give Us That Beef. Which fast food joint burger weighs more than Omar Sharif? Omar Sharif is just an average sized actor. Right, but he's probably heavier than a burger. Yeah. Typically. Okay, we took a very close look at all of the burgers from all the major fast food chains, yes. and using a one burger per restaurant rule, we picked what we perceive to be the biggest, the biggest. Yeah. That's my new thing, the biggest burger. <laughs> the biggest six that's burgers. That's the title we're going with, biggest burger ever. Based solely on the images provided by the restaurants themselves. Now, we're strictly talking about the menu staples. No hacks, no, can I add a patty? and no limited time offers. Yeah, and we're gonna be doing this in matchups until we have determined the hefty, hefty of the heaviest, and it's gonna be a competition between the two of us. Yes. Uh, who's better at eyeballing the hefty? Because we're gonna be using elementary school, uh, schoolyard rules here. <laughs> okay. There's gonna be no licking, no punching, no biting, no smooching, no touching of any kind yeah. to be done to any of these burgers uh, as a part of this competition. And after we've made our guesses, we would place the burgers on the official Beefy Boys scale to see who was right. The heavier the burger, that's the one that moves on. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're trying to the find heavier the, heavier. the burger, the heavier the burger. The bigger the burger, the heavier the burger. Okay, so contain yourself, guys. Uh, we're about to find the heaviest burger that passes through a drive-thru. Okay, boys, let's begin with two classics going head to head. First, the McDonald's Big Mac with two 100% pure beef patties, pickles, shredded lettuce, chopped onion, a yes, slice yes. of American cheese, yes, of Big Mac sauce, and a sesame seed bun with an extra half a bun in the middle. Hmm. Versus the Burger King Triple Whopper Whoa, with cheese, yes. <laughs> which has three flame grilled beef patties, one yeah. slice of American cheese, tomatoes, Can't lettuce, mayonnaise, yeah. ketchup, pickles, sliced white onions, and a sesame seed bun. Now it's missing a, a, a middle bun, but you, the density you, of the meat is the, what's driving the most weight. Yeah, I mean you get an extra patty in there. And mayo drives a lot of weight, and every time I order a Whopper, I'm just struck by how much mayo is slathered on it. Depends thing. on which Burger King you go to. So yeah. there's big mayo Burger Kings and there's light mayo. Burger Most Kings. of them are big mayo. Yeah. And of course, I mean, we didn't add this. This is actually, the triple is actually on the menu. It is. Uh, I think I've I, never ordered I it. I think I've gotten a quad before. I think I had it on the show many, many years ago. Maybe, I think that was Cinco. Okay, let me just uh, just clarify a couple of things here. So we're both gonna be guessing which one we think is the heaviest one and then putting on the scales to see which who is right. Yes. Now, for every wrong guess, we must put on a heavy fast food chain. Get it? And then wear them by the end for the end of the episode. So whoever's got more chains on at the end is Loses. actually more of a loser. Yeah. Um. Ha I mean, there's ha no, there's no way. I mean, now, hold on now. The Big Mac has between 385 to 400 sesame seeds on each Big Mac bun. Oh, those are some heavy seeds. Uh, how many sesame seeds does that have? It looks like more. <laughs> yeah, it's a big, I mean. It's a bigger bun. It's, it's more seeds, more beef, 1,216 calories. And this is only 550 calories. I mean, there's not, there, there, I mean. There's no you, way. You can do a three, two, one, but we're both gonna, we're not idiots. We went to engineering school. Uh, yeah. So we're saying that the, uh, the triple Whopper weighs more. I'm just wondering if, Anything is gonna woo way more than this. Okay, so we're gonna place it on here, and then we'll do a three, two, one release, and then just watch the whopper hit the ground. <laughs> three, two, one, release. <laughs> I mean, that was fun. That was, I mean, there was nothing to it. I mean, Triple look whopper. at that thing. 
Oh man, and even try to exert some effort. You might be able to add a whole nother Big Mac on there and have that Drupal Whopper still take yeah, it out. Yeah. Guys, look at how fun a scale is. Like, yeah, we should so incorporate more scales That's into life. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I want to weigh more things. Okay, this is a round I'm really excited about because first we have Shake Shack's Double Smoke Shack. Yes, which is that's a good burger. Two beef patties, two slices of American cheese, Nyman Ranch applewood smoked bacon, cherry peppers, shack sauce, and a bun. Yeah. And then oh, we yeah. have the In N Out Double Double with two beef patties, two slices of American cheese, onions, lettuce, In N Out spread, tomatoes, and a bun. Okay, let me just say you said this is a good burger. I am going on record, if I haven't already, this is my favorite burger on the planet. Uh, the, with the, the this exact configuration, with the peppers, I like the, the their classic. The Shake Shack double smoke shack with the cherry peppers. It double is good. Beef. The beef is so good. And, the, the back side of that, don't touch it. But how the the bun just kind of kisses together, and it's it's got a little taco ness to it. A little taco ness. And I th I think if you were just weighing the buns here, they got a thicker bun over there. They but got that a heavier just, bun. That just looks like a bigger burger. The In and Out, and that's a very very good burger. Very good. A lot of onions. Uh, they like they'll do a whole cross section of onion, but that doesn't drive a lot of weight. I don't know. I've had a heavy onion in my day. You know, Anthony Bourdain called that burger a perfectly designed protein delivery system. It's it is great. I mean, I I prefer Shake Shack, but I love a good In and Out burger, and I treat them as separate. I just think it's entities. a di it's a different thing. This yeah. is like super fast fast food. And this is like I got a little bit more time on my hands. What's the calorie situation? Eight seventy to six seventy. But wow, two hundred. Oh, wow, there's fifty seven grams of fat in this double smoke. I, you know, I'm not even gonna it's look not, at the information. Not a, I'm not even not, gonna look at it. Not as good for you, but it's definitely got to be heavier. Oh, we're not doing a three, two, one, huh? Yeah, we we both agree. There's no way. I mean, I've I've picked this thing up many many times. Could be wrong. I don't, this is heavier than I thought. Throw it on Get there. Get in there and we'll do it at a three, two, one, and release. Nice little placement. Okay, three, two, one, release. Oh, 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 it's oh, closer oh, though. Oh, yeah. Had, had that little bounce. Wait, let's give it another shot. Let's just say, nope. Wow, so this happen. is closer. It wasn't a runaway. And if I eat it, it's gonna get less heavy. <laughs> oh, man, Don't I wanna take a it. bite so no bad. No change yet. I wanna take a bite. I know you're getting hungry for some burgers, so when this is over, go over to the Mythical Kitchen channel, get even hungrier, because Josh and Trevor are bringing back Burger King's Angriest Whopper, which was discontinued, but not in past food. It's <laughs> That's not. right. And don't forget to also check out the Mythical Kitchen podcast, A Hot Dog is a Sandwich, where today Josh and Nicole are determining at what point a grilled cheese becomes a melt. Ha! Find out ha! wherever you uh, get your podcasts. Stevie, this matchup is Epic. You bet it is. Now, this is our final preliminary round. On Rhett's side, we have Carl's Jr.'s Spicy Triple Western Bacon Cheeseburger, which has three charbroiled all beef patties, jalapenos, two strips of bacon, three slices of pepper jack cheese, two onion rings, and tangy barbecue sauce, all on a seated bun. I'm Dang. Hungry. I'm so hungry. And yes. Link, we have the Wendy's Triple Bacon Jalapeno Cheeseburger, which has three beef patties, pickled jalapenos, applewood smoked bacon, American cheese, crispy fried onions, a savory cheese sauce, a smoky jalapeno sauce, all on a bun. And a cheese, a cascading cheese explosion on the front. Both look of at these that look thing. good. That actually looks better. I think the Wendy's one looks better. The Wendy's one has square burgers and square patties what are you looking Technically, at up here? Technically, I'm looking into my math mind, and the you can put a circle inside of a square. Unless, Unless the, the circle's, circle's bigger. You could also put a square inside <laughs> of a circle. It's, I think the squares are smaller, smaller than, than those the circles. circles. I, I think and there's, there's sesame buns, sesame seeds. I think there's more beef over there. I mean, if you look at the calorie count, 1380 versus 1260, both more than the triple Whopper. But there's 86 grams of saturated fat in the Wendy's. This is like a freaking Jing, Jenga stack. This is not stuff. gonna be easy. And, we, oh, and we, we, need, we definitely need to do the three, two, one for this one because I, I, we don't need to influence each other's. I got a three, two, guess. one ready for you. Uh, man, that's a, that is a thick, that's, that's so concentrated. All I am is hungry. Here we go. Three, two, one. <sighs> I think it's this one. I think, I think there's more beef, but I just think once you get these soggy onions, 
There's, soggy there's onions. more I didn't other think stuff. About the soggy onions. There's more cheese too. It's just. It seems like it's. All right, let's pick her up. And uh, well, that's pretty. Oh it's my heavy. Gosh. It's heavy. It's just not as heavy as I thought it would be. Let me just. I can barely get. Up, up, up. Let me get it on the scale. This is science. Okay. Got it jammed. We got in a there. three, two, one release. Put it right in the middle. Three, two, two one, one release. Oh, I mean, it wasn't even close. Uh, yeah, because it it went down for a second, but I think I just let go before you did. Oh, like, let's make sure. <laughs> All right, you, let, let, yeah, let's make sure. Uh, you lost. it. put some of your onions back on yeah, there. Got, it. got those soggy onions, and you got you lost a little bit there. Put that on okay, there too. Okay, and then. No, wow, this no. thing is. So... All right, I got to Is this big triple chain. whopper heavy? Huh, there's only one way to find out. Mm. But... This is it, the heavyweight finals. Yes. At stake is the title of the heaviest hamburger in the world. Yeah, at stake, that's a pun, right? We've got Burger King's Triple Whopper with cheese, mm -hmm. Shake Shack's Double Smoke Shack, and Carl's Jr.'s Spicy Triple Western Bacon Cheeseburger. That, wow. that Triple Whopper is a photogenic burger. I mean, the fact that you know, it just came. It just came off a truck and just landed here. Whatever happened. That's how we get. This, we get our burgers from this a truck. Is, this is a mess. But sometimes a mess is the tastiest uh, yeah, this, stuff. This looks too that. clean. This looks too clean to me. I want stuff pouring out of my burger. I mean, we gotta know that the Shake Shack is not in the running. I mean, that's this that's is, the loser. Yeah. Let's go ahead and weigh it. It's we we know that it's not as heavy as these others. So two. it comes down to these two. But it does weigh nine point eight one. Ounces. I pity the fool who was thinking that was the heaviest. You know, me with the chin. Nine point eight one ounces. Chains. That's just half a little bit more than half a pound. He's underwhelmed. He's disappointed. All the excitement is drained from his body. But now, let's get down to it. It's time to vote, man. Because we've got Boy, mayo and meat. They both have three patties. The circumference. This one's got that melty white cheese that's got a lot of girth, y'all. The circumference of the Whopper is a tiny bit bigger, but this spills out more. And there's no bacon over here. And it would be a very Carl's Jr. thing to have the heaviest burger. I think the buns you are know? the exactly same size. You think, hold on, you think Burger King and Carl's Jr. is the same restaurant? Like Kroger and Ralph's? Could be. It would, I mean, There's it would, no, it we, we know that's not true, so let's not You, you don't know what's true this, in this world. Yeah, that's that's true. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, you probably got my finger. So we agree, because I mean. It's got bacon I coming mean, just, out of just it. Just look at that thing. It's going all over the place. It's got the three burgers and. Okay, so let's put this one over here. We let's, think that, let's this, weigh we that think the triple Whopper, which, oh, the scale cut off. So let me turn it back on. Zero it. Make sure it's, it's zero. Yes, okay. And it weighs, guess. Uh, 11.3 ounces. 15.82, almost a full pound. 15.82 ounces. Dang, okay. <sighs> Are we gonna break a pound? We're gonna break a pound. We're gonna break a pound. Cause he's like, well, well you say a quarter pounder burger. Well, that's, that's the weight You're before You're telling cooking. me that this, what do you call this thing, first of all? The a spicy beast? triple western bacon cheeseburger. Spicy bacon, yeah. Spicy because it's got those. <gasps> it's only 14.89! We were wrong! The heaviest burger in the world is a triple whopper at almost a pound! Oh, we are shamed! I can't, I'm sorry, Burger King. Almost a pound! The original 15.8, it went up to 15.82. I guess I must have spit on it. <laughs> that is. My mind is blown. Wow, man. We're we gonna eat good though. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna eat all this. You know what's up, heaviest burger. You get it from the source. Thanks <laughs> for subscribing. Yeah, and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Luke Witham. And I'm Landon Hudson. We're here at the Ice House Man in Newcastle, Indiana. And it's time to spin the, the Wheel, Wheel of Mythicality. We've been there. Yeah, we, we made did. made a song many years ago, okay. Click the top link to watch us do two things. One, we're going to determine which of the heaviest final three burgers actually taste the best, and we're gonna match up the signs of the Zodiac with the restaurants. Click through to Good Mythical More to find out. I have literally one sesame seed left on my bun. The last little guy's hanging I got 